assalamu alaikum and welcome to my another tutorial and in this tutorial i will uh, i will cover spectral enhancement using tool special analyst in arcmap and i will show you how to create band ratios and vegetation indices now we are going to see simple band ratios in the arc toolbox we will be working with the math sub toolbox of special analyst right now all of our landsat bands are in integer format and we need to convert our bands from integer data to flow data and before we can for, uh, perform a spectral enhancement uh, the data i have here is a landsat 8 imagery and check my previous videos if you don't know how to download a landsat 8 image from internet for free and after you have uh, after downloading the landsat 8 image and uh, after unzipping that you will see uh, this this raster files here and these uh, files uh, are raster files are the band and if you want to know more about these bands check my previous videos radiometric enhancement also here you can see uh, the table of sentinel 2 images landsat 7 and landsat 8 so you can see i have only added from band 1 to band 8 as band 1 is a coastal aerosol and the second one is blue, green, red and NIR uh, is near infrared, shortwave infrared and then shortwave infrared 2 and then band chromatic and you can simply just press the control key and select the bands you want to add in your art map data frame and click add to add this raster file okay so after you added your bands in your art map uh, go to geo processing and go to environments and we have to set our environments and go to workspace and here i have created uh, i have created a folder called uh, spectral enhancement and inside that folder i have created a new geo database you can create this from here and click add to add this as your scratch workspace and after added your folder here just click ok and now we are ready to go and first of all we are going to convert our integer data to flow data and to do that go to arc toolbox and under special analyst tools go to math and you can see here is a tool called plot double click it and set your input raster that you want to convert you start with band 5 here as band 5 is the near infrared and you have to rename your output folder to identify it more easily band 5 and click ok to run the tool my new float layer appears to be exactly the same but uh, if I click on the identify tool and uh, click anywhere in the image I can see my pixel values are now contained decimal places which is important for the next step that we will follow ok let's let's convert another band band 3 and by doing the same process And now we are ready to create a band ratio. Go to the math sub toolbox and go to uh, double click divide. And in the input raster or constant value 1, input float band 5. And in the second input raster or constant value 2, set uh, float band 4. And rename your file here as band 4 by 5. A simple band ratio is just dividing the values in one band by another. We are doing a 5 by 4 ratio here, so set your input raster uh, to that plot 5 by 4 as you, you can see here. The 5 by 4 ratio enhances the presence of vegetation. And let's zoom in a little bit more. And you can see here brighter tones are indicating uh, dense vegetation and you can do 
any simple index using the same technique and now we will create another index the square root of near infrared divided by red open the square root uh, under the math sub toolbox here so click here to open it and input raster or constant value as you divided 5 by 4 raster and uh, just rename it at square root 5 by 4 and click ok uh, let's zoom in uh, ok here and you can see this index is a little bit brighter uh, you can see little bit brighter and sharper than without the square root and there's another way to calculate the same result which would be faster if we hadn't already done the 5 by 4 band ratio let's go to full extent and go to under the map algebra open raster calculator in this box uh, we can enter an exact equation of what we want and do it in one step but we have to enter in our equation very carefully first go to the function menu uh, on the far, re far right and scroll down to find a square root and here is this a square root double click it to add in in your box so inside the parenthesis we can divide band 5 by band 4 double click here band 5 float band 5 and divided by float band 4 and let's rename it as square root 5 by 4 and click off so this process is a lot more easier than the previous one and we we, uh, we don't have to uh, we we can do it in one step so as you can see these are uh, similar results and now let's do a more complex calculation ndvi also known as normalized difference visitation index open raster calculator uh, the formula for NDVI is lens at band 5 minus band 4 divided by band 5 plus band 4 and you must put parentheses around operations that need to occur before uh, other operations otherwise our map will perform the operation step by step from left to right. And rename it as raster calculator n d v i and click ok the ndvi results uh, gives you pixel values from negative 1 to positive 1 uh, the closer the pixel is to positive 1 the brighter the pixel uh, and brighter pixel means healthier vegetation and here the brightest part here is uh, representing the healthy vegetation and uh, and we can also identify uh, one more object from this NDV calculation is water body you can see the water body is fully appears in black we can also identify this from NDV calculation and so there is another uh, another easier and much simpler way to do NDVI in artmap artmap has a button in the image analysis window that you can use you don't even need to create floating point images first move the lens set 4 image on the top of the table then band 4 and band 5 on the second spot uh, to get started open the email analysis window from windows go to image analysis select the band 4 and band 5 by holding down the control key in your keyboard and under processing menu you will see a green leaf tool is enabled and before we run this ndvi tool let's set our option which is available under this uh, icon which is also uh, all the uh, way at the top of the window here it is and uh, i'm going to uncheck this uh, sorry so first time when you are opening 
this email analysis option you will see that uh, you have checked in use web so i'm going to uncheck it and check the scientific output and click ok now click on the leaf icon to run the NDVI tool and you can see here you can background and you can see here uh, we got the exams, exact same results as we did from the raster calculator so you have learned uh, now learned two different ways to calculate NDVI both methods give you the same numeric and image results but the biggest difference between the two images is that the one we have created from raster calculated is uh, already saved in your uh, computer but the uh, NDVI we have created from image analysis window is temporary to save this uh, image raster to your computer just click here and uh, you can save it from here and uh, after uh, rename your output file location and uh, click save to save that image so thank you for watching my videos and if you like my uh, tutorials please uh, subscribe to my channel like comment and share this video and uh, comment below to let me know if my tutorial helps you or not thank you